Project MOVE is an initiative of Weinig Excel Work and Income in collaboration with Italian and Portuguese educational partners. International because youth and employment and vulnerable youngsters are on the priority list of the European Union. The MOVE project is a project where we try to find alternative and innovative methods especially to help vulnerable youngsters uh, whom we cannot help with the regular reintegration instruments that we have nowadays because this group is becoming more and more vulnerable so we have to find other best practices, other kinds of uh, trainings for them. In Italy this point is a real, uh, is a real challenge um, because we have a high rate of uh, early school leaving. We have more than 10% that the ESF uh, will wish for us and uh, for all European countries. And uh, we need to face with this problem. We work with three countries, uh, the Netherlands, Italy and Portugal, and each country has to find five best practices that are related to uh, methods that are used in sport or in culture. I think uh, to, uh, to fail the school it's a consequence of other problems uh, behind. It, uh, so it has to be a um, strategy uh, using all tools from the society and for, and for that the school has to have a direct connection uh, with the society, with the community. This is the open door to the artists, to the public and the artists. Now we are preparing a training the students and in the evening this transforms in a show place. All up there, all up there is classes, classrooms, classrooms and the administration. Along the way, when we were working on it, we saw that certain, certain things that we decided in advance that they were uh, quite difficult to execute. Like uh, we were uh, saying that we should do five working visits in each country, but that uh, was running from one work vi working visit to another and we, did less, we had less time to uh, evaluate and reflect on what we saw. So we decided to diminish the working visits to have more time for other things. This project is a develop project and it's an artistic way to work. It's difficult, especially if, uh, if uh, we want a, a straight plan, um, very concrete and... But on the other hand, it gives us uh, the creativity, the liberty to improve and to, to, to uh, add value to the project. At the beginning we said we want to choose two best practices that we could apply in our own uh, organization but also in the organization of the, uh, of the other countries who were involved in the project. But we decided to do another outcome uh, and to take all best ingredients that we saw in the best practices and to make like some criteria uh, that, or this, that, that is needed to uh, do a workshop in training with cultural uh, elements and sports elements. We were able to create a guideline um, uh, and to, de to detect four areas, we can, we can call it like that, uh, concerning the organization, the guideline, the location and then the domain. Uh, talking about the domain, we talk about the sport and culture and it was very good to see that there are many organizations um, using, for example, sport and arts uh, in, in a way to working on team building in respect of rules and in general in social inclusion. Our eight schools are situated in the very problematic neighborhood here in Stubal, which is called Bella Vista. 
and this is a, a very specific school because the children don't care too much about school, the parents neither, and we try to make an effort to bring them to school and to give them uh, all uh, the support uh, we can for, for their lives. Mais do peito e da poesia e os aides de outras coisas mais. Gli obiettivi sono fondamentalmente due. Il primo è quello di permettere loro di giocare, che sono ragazzi che altrimenti avrebbero veramente difficoltà a trovare una squadra in cui poter giocare. E l'altro obiettivo invece è un po' più grande ed è quello di provare a cambiare un po' la percezione che si ha del fenomeno migratorio all'interno di questa associazione tramite loro. Mi piace la squadra, l'accoglienza, poi quello che non mi hanno accolto qua, non mi hanno accolto anche niente, anche essere nero, ma essere boh, cioè non hanno guardato la mia pelle, mi hanno preso come uno dei loro fratelli. Then talking about uh, the organization, first of all we saw everywhere good leadership leading the uh, team and also the organization. We don't have a uh, uh, lesson, they, they go outside the school and I saw a lot of uh, guys uh, smoke uh, on the going uh, around the street. So I say, how to take uh, them near the school, how play drum. I like it very much, I love it. Um, uh, it's my world, my second family. I have a year and a half, so I have a year and a half, so I have a year and a half. En dan ging ik rond vier, vijf uur s ochtends weer slapen. Dus was de totaal andere wereld. Als je tussen de 16 en de 23 bent en je valt uit op school... en je zit een half jaar thuis en je doet niks... dan is er vaak wel wat meer aan de hand. We ondersteunen ze eigenlijk met het uitzoeken van wat ze willen. En dat doen we op een manier die uh, uh, nog steeds vrij onconventioneel is. Uh, Maar het zit hem echt in, in, in vertrouwen en, en een relatie opbouwen en betrouwbaar zijn. All the organization we saw, they were able to work with youngest uh, with a lot of passion. And I think that's the, uh, the way to move something and to produce change. This is a, a special kind of group that has been working with our museum for some years now. And, um, they have very special needs of integration in school. So this is a form, also a form, a way of uh, building self-trust and belief in your own abilities. José Saramago Cluster uh, School. It's only 50 kilometers from the capital, Lisbon, but it's so far away in time. It's like in some parts of this region, it, it looks like they are living in the beginning of 20th century. This school has uh, already 10 years. It's a new school and uh, we can uh, see already some slow development because it's about that. The other question is connected to education, so the guidance and uh, education. And we saw different reality working with youngest, so different youngest, uh, but 
the individual um, learning, the individual education and uh, how can I say, the, the ability to work one by one, uh, I think that, that is really a good point to work on it because it works when you are able to, uh, to talk in direct way with youngest and to understand what they need, you can, you, can, you, know, you, you can solve the problem and you can face it. The last point that, uh, that I would like to, to talk about, the guidelines that we created, is uh, concern the location. Different organizations in Portugal, for example, I, I'm talking about Chapito, but also in Italy, in Piazza di Mestieri. This uh, organization, they create a kind of square, a kind of uh, permeable uh, space where people can go in and go out um, in a normal way. It's really uh, nice to see that there are no barriers, but you can just move in and you can just decide your path. L'aspetto della cultura assieme all'aspetto del lavoro, del eh, imparare a lavorare veramente, sono i due pilastri che accompagnano la formazione dei ragazzi. Perché i ragazzi oggi attraverso la cultura possono aprirsi al mondo, diventando protagonisti della musica, del teatro, eh, guardando del, delle belle mostre, possono scoprire il mondo e quindi anche per loro stessi vuol dire uscire dal, tante volte dalle quattro mura dalla casa in cui sono rinchiusi. In this school there is a contest about poetry and I, win the, I won the second prize the last year and the third prize this year. I'm very happy about this because uh, it's a uh, I think that makes you happy and uh, oh my god! <laughs> the other important thing that we saw is the uh, concerned beauty. Beauty is in the center, it's not like a kind of element in, in a framework, but it's really the core of the organization. I think it's the most important things. I'm using these cases, these little pieces of food, to, to make some, uh, something to use for Christmas. What we want to do is, like we call it, move beyond. That's uh, to start a new project where we will try to use the criteria that we found in this project and to make them practical and like making some kind of workshop and training that would be applicable also to education and reintegration. That's the following step that we want to do.